Okay, in this video, I'm going to show how with Adobe Illustrator, you can take advantage of the line graph tool and create a slope graph. This tutorial will save you the time that you would normally spend to draw the slope lines manually. And slope graphs in general are great for comparing the before and the after changes in quantities between two time periods. And you can see that in this example I have here. And here I'm going to show you how we can create this chart here. So first off, I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to create a new document. Don't worry about the settings too much, just make sure we have a document with enough canvas space. And I want you to go over to the toolbar here and select the Line Graph tool. And what we need to do now is to draw out a fairly tall box. I'm clicking and dragging here and then release and we'll be given the data window. Now we need to enter in the data and I'm going to leave the first cell here blank. But I will fill in the names of all the countries for the first row. In the first column, write in the two years you're comparing, but make sure to include an apostrophe at the beginning of the year label to tell Illustrator that this is a name label. Otherwise, Illustrator will consider this to be a data value. Afterwards, fill in the rest of the data. Okay, once you've filled in all the data, press the apply button and you'll see this has now been added to the graph. And hit show save and exit here. And now we can see the graph is drawn out here and that we have a legend of each of the countries here. Now select the graph with the selection tool and right click go to type. I want to make the value axis on both sides. Untick here. And then go OK. And go type again. Have edge to edge lines. You'll see that it will now have these lines touching the axis. So now a basic slope graph has been created. Unfortunately, Illustrator doesn't have the option to directly label the lines with either the values or the name labels. So if you want to add these on, you'll have to do it manually. So now I will ungroup the graph so we can tweak and style it. So I'm gonna go object, ungroup and go yes. Or you can use one of the keyboard shortcuts, which on Mac is Shift Command G or Shift Control G on Windows. I'm going to make this a bit smaller. I'm going to hold Shift to keep it uniform. I'm going to delete this here. And move each year up to the top, ungroup these, make sure these are at the top of the axis here, so this is to signify the year for each axis. Now we need to figure out which line corresponds to which country, and the way to do this is you have to click onto one of the lines here. You see at the moment they're all grouped together, if you ungroup these. So now it selects them individually. If I change the color, you can see this a bit more clearly. So I'm gonna change the color of the layer to something a bit more bright. So you can see this highlighted now. So you see here, this line corresponds to here up here for Finland. So I'm gonna get take this label here for Finland. I'm gonna ungroup this again. So I can select this individually and I'm gonna move this down here so I know this is where Finland is. 
and then I'll repeat the process for the other countries as well. Okay, now that I have all of these labels in place, I'm going to just straighten them out and I'm going to apply them to the other side here as well. And to copy them over, I'm holding down the Alt key and clicking and dragging them over to the other side. Next I'm going to remove the markers because I don't need to have these here so I'm going to select them and then delete. I'm going to line these up and I'm going to draw a rectangle here for the back for the axis. Set this to an opacity of 20 and I'm going to send this to the back. Next I'm going to select all these lines for the slope and I'm going to make them black. I'm going to remove the axis because we don't need these anymore. I'll make the years a bit bigger so they're more prominent. And then finally, I'll add in the data values for each of these. I'll just move this over into the center here. So there you go, that's how to more efficiently draw a slope graph in Adobe Illustrator. So I hope you found this video useful.